Hi. My name is... <laughs> Alright YouTube, uh, the votes are in and today is going to be a total update day. Um, figured since I haven't actually done one in a while, um, today's one of the perfect days to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you everything that I have and also one experiment that I did without actually telling you guys. So let's uh, go on to the plants. Alright, so here is an overall view of my grow thing. Um, starting at the top, it's just miscellaneous stuff, some CP or carnivorous plants, and the thing that I'm plant sitting. Uh, moving down, that's where I keep all the bigger plants for a while. And this, those are really the only two things I'm growing on right now, so let's get a closer look, shall we? Alright, so here are the mini roses that we transplanted just yesterday, and um, I'm not sure if it's because I transplanted or just because it was their time, but I have two really big blossoms as you can see right there. So once again, this is mini rose plant. It's looking really healthy right now. Um, if you want to see that care video, just look through my videos. It's the last one I posted. Okay, here's the next plant. It's my big ol' honkin' tomatillo, and it is thicker than a pencil and the leaves are just huge. It's definitely growing a lot better than I expected it to. Um, the other one is still slightly smaller, but I'm just gonna blame it because uh, the first one was choking it out. But here it is, as you can see, it's about as big as my head. But the leaves are getting bigger, um, still about as thick as a pencil. So they're both doing really well and I'm excited for those. Um, next, next, next. Here is the catnip. Um, as you can see, it's growing really weird. I don't know why, but usually when it produces a set of really big leaves, the smaller leaves tend to die. And it's not really so much as a die, it's just kind of curl up and fall off. I'm not sure if it's using the energy from those leaves, or if I'm doing something wrong, but... I mean, the the leaves that are produced are bigger and healthier, so um, I, don't, I don't think anything's really wrong with it. I'm just going to let it grow because it's doing its job. It's sending out a lot of side shoots, and uh, yeah, that that's all I can really say. It looks nice, I guess, except for the leaves that are withering. But yeah, so there's catnip. All right, Sean, I'm sure that uh, very few of you are very interested in this, but this is the Christmas cactus cutting that I had. As you can see, it's producing several new leaves, and it's only been about a month. So it does take a while to grow, however, it, it looks really nice. The new leaves are very green color, all nice, shiny, healthy, just producing on each plant. It's uh, All I can really say is it looks really good. Okay, anyone care to guess what these are? Any guesses? Well, this is my canopy of the winter cherry, or Chinese lantern, Japanese lantern, whatever you want to call it. That is what they are. They're staying smaller to the ground, however, their stem is getting really thick and producing massive green leaves. Um, I noticed that the leaves kind of got bigger as I added uh, the liquid fertilizer, which I'm going to show in probably tomorrow's video. So... Okay, there's canopy of winter cherry. They all pretty much look like that, so I think it'd be kind of a waste to show them all. If you think otherwise, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so speaking of canopy of leaves, um, anyone care to guess what this is? This is actually the Bujalokia, or one of the world's hottest peppers. It also is staying closer to the ground, however, it is creating massive and green leaves just really healthy. It has a pretty nice smell to it too. But yeah, you may think I'm weird because I just smelled a plant. But I really don't care. Alright, so here is something that's kind of awkward to show, but this is the experiment I was working on. I wanted to see how close I had to get with the lights and see if that would affect growth. And as you can see, here is my smallest plant, which is it's about half the size of my hand, but it has really nice, healthy looking leaves. Um, so, smallest, I grew these um, 
I say six inches to a foot. More like a foot. A little more than a foot. <laughs> okay, a little more than a foot away from the, the plants. While as these, the bigger ones, which take up pretty much my entire hand. Maybe a little more. But it's double the size of the smaller ones, and those were grown just a few inches away from the uh, lights. They weren't exactly touching, however, they were really close. So, my experiment has uh, worked. I can now say that if you want really healthy plants, make sure that you grow them really close to the light, make sure that they don't burn, and they have plenty of water so that they also, you know, don't burn. And, um, if it really helps, keep up the humidity. Um, you can do that by getting a, I would suggest a cool mist humidifier because that would keep the room slightly cooler and boost the humidity. The one I have is actually a warm uh, mist humidifier, meaning it really heats up my room to about uh, 75 degrees or so, which I think is really nice. And it looks like my plants are too, but um, okay, so... That's the experiment and my update on the cherry tomatoes. As you can see, they're doing really well. Um, not really sure what else to say. They really like the new soil mixture, too. Um, they really took a liking to it. The new fertilizer soil mixture is just, I'm guessing, optimum growing conditions. They keep spurting out tons of new leaves. So, okay, that was cherry tomatoes. Alright, so moving on to the next part of the video is plants that you didn't see before. These are ones that I didn't start from seed, and ones that, oh, a few I did. Anyways, um, either I am plant-sitting, I don't want to say babysitting, but I'm plant-sitting them for a per, uh, friend, or I um, recently got them from another friend. So, this is what um, my friend calls Sheriff Cactus. I don't know why she calls it that, but... It's her cactus or her teacher's cactus, whichever. Um, basically what she wanted me to do was it was in a really small pot and the soil bin, it just kind of got beat around. The soil wasn't really good. It really waterlogged the plant. So I transplanted it into a bigger pot. I gave it a healthier soil mixture and now I'm just letting it sit in the light to absorb as much light as possible. It wasn't getting um, enough light at the place it was before. So making it all better, Sheriff Cactus. Can anyone guess what this is? Oh, I know, I'm having you guys guess a lot today. Well, I'm sorry. You could just skip forward a few seconds and actually find out. One, two, three. Okay, this is actually mint. Um, I believe it's spearmint. I got part of the roots from a friend. Sorry, I didn't realize it was so close. But, uh, yeah. So I got part of the stem from a friend. I noticed that I was sending a few roots out, but, uh, they didn't want it to grow in their area, and since mint is actually a really invasive plant, you want to keep it in a container. But, like I said, got part of, uh, part of their stem, it was sending out roots in several areas, so what I did was I just took, or took a pair of scissors, and I cut where, um, right ab uh, above and below where the roots are, and then you just want to set them either on top of the soil, or just barely below the soil. That way it could send the roots down and as you can see it will send a few leaves up and then eventually just start growing and taking over the little pot. Um, I don't really want this to get really huge because I know it's invasive so I think I'm just gonna keep it in this pot for now. I don't really have much uh, of a use for mint other than making tea. I love tea. Alright so next up we have you can't really see them. However, there's sprout there and there and wherever else in there. But those are actually tobacco sprouts. Um, for those of you who are wondering, no, I do not smoke. I actually have asthma, so smoking would just be instant death. Not exactly, but you know what I mean. But um, I'm growing it just as for fun. Um, my goal is to try to grow every type of plant. Not every type. Most plants in the world and then document them all as they grow so I can get the appropriate conditions and then eventually I'll just have a giant book of my experiments and the experiences with plants and who knows maybe I can actually print out not print I could send people uh, the
the document if they're interested. I don't know. So, stop rambling. <laughs> Alright, this small thing is actually one of my carnivorous plants. Um, I forgot what kind it was called. I will have it in the hopefully next video when I actually uh, pull up the paper that says what it is. But it is kind of doing poorly because I'm actually letting the humidity slip a little. Um, only because my room is getting a bit too hot for it. So what I did is I actually just took part of another 2 liter. Um, I'm cutting holes in like the top and the side so it doesn't get too hot. And then um, I'm just putting it over the plant that will increase the humidity and since it's actually sitting in a uh, water tray because in order to grow most carnivorous plants it has to be uh, in a tray uh, full of water because their natural environment is actually more like marshland stuff like that uh, peat bogs so if you ever do get a carnivorous plant make sure you read up a lot about it because they can be a lot of work but they're also a lot of fun and have a big payoff a few more things I got from a friend are actually goji berries. Um, these are just seedlings. They're growing right now in sort of a sphagnum mix. Um, they're a, it's live sphagnum. And I don't know, the sphagnum is doing well. And in order to keep the sphagnum growing really well, it has to have a higher humidity. It always has to be moist. So I'm guessing that the goji berries are doing pretty well. And I see a few new sprouts on it coming up. Or not sprouts. Ah. Oh few new leaves so um, it's doing well I'll keep you updated on that as it grows too alright that's really it for this update there is one more thing which is my uh, coffee it, nothing has really sprouted yet however it has I've noticed that a few roots are coming out of the beans so I will definitely keep you updated as it sets out its first leaves about six of the nine have actually sprouted so I got better German ra germination rates than you, Ray. Um, so that's it for this update. Please make sure to watch my other videos, subscribe, and like my videos if you do really like them. I'll be having more, including the ones for the next two days, and you can go ahead and watch my previous ones if you want. Okay, so this is Zach signing off.